so uh, tonight was probably the most interesting night I've ever had going to check out a movie. More, more, more than Oogie Loves? More or the time you and Corey saw Twilight and Midnight? More than <laughs> Oogie Loves. a pajama loves, party? <laughs> more than Marmaduke. I'm, please, please this, this review doesn't have to be that long as far as the actual review of the film. Uh-huh. Let's, just let me, let's, let's kick it into story time with All co-host right. 3000. <laughs> story time with yeah. co-host 3000. So, Cue the music. So I look up the schedule, the, the times, and thank God there's an early screening so we don't have to like you know stay up till midnight. Right. You know, watch this shit. And, and, and just, then, just so it yeah. be known, I, I saw this last week. Yeah, you saw it last week. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was it was also another early screening. Was, mm. It started at seven. It was done by eight thirty. Yeah. yeah, you saw that. I was about to see it with you until Cyrus told me that there's a Grand Master screening, and I was like. All right, fuck that. I'm, 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 I'm going to go see martial arts. Yeah, I'm going to go see martial arts. I'm going to go see people kick kick each other in the head. Yeah, that's that's more my taste. So I was like, all right, thank God there's an early screening. I I go to it already kind of nervous just at the fact that – You're going I, by yourself. I'm going by myself, and I know I'm going to get some kind of look or reaction from the people who are selling me this ticket. Yeah. And shockingly enough, that happens. Uh, I get there. I'm like, all right, uh, I'll do the 7 o'clock. 3D screening, and there at the ticket booth is this guy, and he's obviously gay because as soon as he opens up his mouth, he's like, oh, okay, how many? And I was just like, just one. And he's, he's like, like ew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'll sell you the ticket, but let me call 911 first. <laughs> yeah. They don't even bother. They just go ahead and put you on the sex offender. Yeah. I, know. Right there. I know. They take my picture. <laughs> they take my picture right there. <laughs> they put it up. They put it up inside the building. But he's like, "Oh, just, just you. Oh, are you a fan?" <laughs> and I was like, "I'm looking at him, and I'm like, N- yes." <laughs> so, uh, okay, it was easier to say yes than to get into the other conversation. Well, yeah, yeah. They're trying to explain, like, no, this is part of my job. <laughs> I know. And my brain like woke up and was like, "All right, thank, thank, thank." What to say? And I was just like, "Uh, yes." <laughs> So he's like, oh, well, you know what? We're going to have favorite. a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's when you go, I love you, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay, here's your ticket. Go ahead. Yeah, so he is, gives me yeah. – Isn't Harry just dreamy? <laughs> I, 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 I was like, Harry? With Harry Knowles? I don't know what you're talking about. Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. So he gives me he gives me the, the, the ticket, and he gives me the 3D glass, and he's like, enjoy – and I'm walking out, and I swear to God, I heard him say, homo. What? <laughs> no, that's a joke. Okay. <laughs> so I'm walking in, and I'm like, all right, it's one of these movies. And usually when I can tell I'm going to get bored at a certain film, I have to, I've got, I got to find something to keep me busy. Sure. So I went to the snack bar, got a cherry Coke and a hot dog. Cherry right? Coke. Cherry Coke. Yes, right. That's right. And so I get. You're eating this hot dog slowly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Smallest bites. Possible. It's the only time yeah, I ever yeah. chew my food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were, you, were, you, were you lovingly sucking on that hot dog? Oh, I, was like, I, don't, I don't want it to go to waste. You gotta hold it in your mouth for a while. Oh, yeah. Get no. all the flavor. And you, gotta, you gotta cradle the back of the bun. I, I, I was, I was at the concession stand trying to keep myself busy there. Like I was, I was chef co-host with the hot dog, like putting in little, just little bits of mustard, rotating. <laughs> the hot dog, finding the relish, you know, putting it to evenly across. Do you have any onion? I mean, yeah. that, that would really make this. No, 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 the purple onions. Yeah, do you have the, purple? The, the whites it, are too spicy. I will wait until you guys bust out the purple onions, <laughs> chop them finely, because that's how I like them, <laughs> minced. That's how I like them, minced. And I'm going to wait here. So I get the food. I Immediately, I, I, go, I, I go give my ticket, she, and this girl looks at me like, okay, one, one direction. Um... It's down that way. And she just gives me this kind of odd kind of look like, okay. And I'm just like, oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. So I'm walking down. I see the One Direction. Uh, I open up the doors. I walk in. As soon as I walk in, there's a guy standing there, a manager, talking to these two preteen girls that will not shut the hell up. And I can tell he's been sitting there. Just He's been standing there just hearing them talk about One Direction and what their favorite songs are. And I heard this. As soon as I walk in... <laughs> This guy turns around and he looks at me and he looks at me up and down like <laughs> and he gives me this look like just confused like what the hell are you doing here and I'm just like hey how's it going <laughs> I walk past him and as soon as I get in I look at the audience it's a it's a and it's a bunch of teenage girls yeah I don't see a single adult all of a sudden I'm like I'm trying not to drop drop my hot dog my relish is like 
dripping on the floor. Oh, yeah, it was your relic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, 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 you do know how, how this sounds, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's splooging all over my shoes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I see a seat, like, way in the back. It's like I'm going to sit way in the back up in the theater just so I can avoid these people judging me. I'm, I'm, I'm practically running halfway up, about to trip, until I hear a gang of girls go, Look! Ah! Everyone starts screaming. I turn around. They, a, they thought you were Zane. Yeah, they they yeah. did. They totally did. I, <laughs> yeah, that seems like a resemblance. Yeah. <laughs> I, I keep, well, I, I'm like, what the hell? And I thought there was somebody behind me, like maybe one of their girlfriends or something came in. But no, they're staring at me going, oh, yeah, woo! They get up. It's like, you are the coolest, most amazing dad ever. <laughs> and I'm there with my hot dog looking around like, I don't have any kids. What the hell are they talking to? Like, yeah! And the one girl goes, I wish you were my dad! Woo! We can work with that! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they are screaming, like, yeah! Standing ovation, I shit you not. Wow. And I'm standing there looking like Ash from Evil Dead 2, <laughs> with my hot dog in one hand, my cherry cook in the other, going, no! No! So, I was trying to remember the scene in Evil Dead 2 where Ash had movie theater concessions, but I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> so as as soon as I think that's like that's crazy enough, what happens? I start to see flashes of light. And I'm like, oh God, oh God. And they are taking pictures of me oh, with shit. their cell phones, excited, like cheering, go, woo! And I'm just like, oh no, oh god, no! Oh, you are so oh, on no. a sex offender website. I'm so <laughs> fucked. I'm so fucked. And I just kind of like, okay, nervously, I run up to to the seat and I sit down. And I turn around. These two girls, these two teenage girls, turn around and look at me, and they know they kind of start to wonder, where, where, where are his kids? Like, <laughs> and then one of the girls looked looked at me, and she uh, she looked at me, and she was like, are are you a a, a guy directioner? And I was like, what? What? Oh, Jesus. There's and, a term for it? Yes. Apparently, there's oh. a term. And, and I was like, okay, wh- wh- what is this? <laughs> it's, it's their equivalent of a brony. <laughs> yeah, I ha- yeah, exactly. And I was like, I had to ask her one more time. Let me make sure I'm saying this right. Yeah, a guy directioner. And I was like, okay, well, is that is that the guy version of a fan? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, no. I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm a movie reviewer. Oh, no, you did not say that. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I, I would rather say, like, yes, I'm a guy director. I, I thought about it, but I, but the fact that she caught me, she's like, I was like, what? what is this? What? Oh, who is no. this that you just called me? And she's like, yeah, guy directioner. And I was like, no, <laughs> no. So I'm just like, look, I'm just here to review the movie. Um, please, this is already awkward enough. But but if anybody asks, can you guys just say that you're my daughters? 